Hello, hello everyone. Welcome star seeds, creative sensitives and leaders. So um, I'm gonna answer a question today and here's the question. How can I best serve as a star seed and sensitive in this crazy, broken, chaotic world when I'm feeling anxious, overwhelmed, overstimulated, depressed, alone, unsupported, confused, just waking up, shaken up, in pain, not enough, scared, can't do enough, traumatized, unwell or sick, emotional, ungrounded, betrayed, um, or abandoned, dot, dot, dot. Whew, that was a lot, but are you feeling any of those? Are you experiencing these? I have been, I have been over the last, I would say four years. Um, what we've been experiencing and I think, so I wanted to, I want to share things that you can do so that you feel empowered, freer, feel that um, you are of service, you're not feeling hopeless, and, um, and, and know that you're not alone in going through this. There's a lot of us, <laughs> a lot. I have so many times, so many people, because I will bring up the, 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 the conversation with people I know who are starseeds and sensitives, um, that are other coaches or leaders or uh, spiritual guides or healers, etc. And they're like, you're the only person I can talk to about this. And I'm like, so I know I'm not alone. I know there's lots of us out there. And, but we are a lot fewer than, than those others um, who um, are not the sensitives and the healers and the creatives and the, um, you know, the empaths, etc. So I want to get into this. And, and these are all things that I've been doing over the last four years uh, to help me feel more grounded in myself, to feel more, feel safe, to feel um, uh, that I could serve because I actually like slowed down stuff and when, when things would come up and I felt too discombobulated and I think that um, I would offer that when you're feeling that way too, for you to, to back off and, and take some time to integrate the, what, you're, what you're learning, what you're feeling, um, why you're feeling it, uh, to do some inner work this is one of the suggestions I would have, right? Is that you um, not do so much serving of others at, that, at those times to stop and integrate it because a lot of what it, are the transformation, the awakening, the evolution, the ascension, whatever word you wanna to put to it, um, does take integration and does take time for us physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually to um, assimilate it, to make sense of some of it. Some of it we don't have to make any sense of. But there are, uh, because it is a revealing, you know, it is a time of shedding. It is a time of up-leveling and learning new things and t uh, allowing those new, things about ourselves to come out, to be expressed, to learn what it feels like to hold that higher energy, that higher frequency, to have that DNA change, to feel the body become less dense and more plasma, more light, right? So anyway, let's get into it. Um, so the other thing, and again, I'm using my notes <laughs> so that um, I can stay on track. So we are not meant to do this alone. So don't think like you've got to power through this, you have to push through this, you're not feeling well, you're feeling drained, you're doing a lot, but it just seems like it's not going anywhere. You're, you're feeling unhealthy, I think, uh, um, and you're feeling alone in doing this work. 
know and and know that no one else can do this these things that i'm going to suggest to you for you only you can do your inner work and like connecting to your higher self and knowing your purpose and being intuitive and it's for us also to remember that everything is energy everything is energy so you shifting your frequency you doing your inner work um, will help affect all of the energy, the energy of all, the energy of the earth, the energy of all of humanity the, in the cosmos, um, animal kingdom, everything. And what we're moving towards is you becoming more authentically you from your heart speaking from your heart, being present in this now, um, being in touch with what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, what you choose. And so knowing that what we do to ourselves is affecting all, then it's not such a need to be do, do, doing. It's more important to be, be, being authentically, honestly, in the moment, right? Those things, our minds can change. We can learn something about us in, in the next sec second that wasn't true in the last second and and then come and, and embody that. Um, and also as leaders, as healers, as coaches, as creatives, you, you are a role, you can be a role model and being more authentically you and present to what in, in this now moment being with others will give them permission to do the same thing. And because I know a lot of you are perfectionists also, it's learning that um, there is no perfect somewhere else. The perfect is right here, right now. How, whatever is showing up is perfect in this now moment as God's intelligence. Whatever you're experiencing right now is there for you that you created it and you get to learn from it or you get to benefit from it or you're, it's part of your manifesting or it's going to feed you back information so you can see where you're at so then you can make a new choice, add to it, etc. So every moment is perfect. All of our problems are just challenges. It's just information. Um, is giving us areas to grow, is showing us what we've been thinking and projecting out into the world. And so therefore we can go in and change it. All right, so now I'm going to share some some of my realities, some of the things that I've experienced and why I'm doing this is so, um, so star seeds and sensitives, you, you heard the call in the cosmos and you said, I'm coming down. I want to volunteer and I want to go help humanity, um, and, the, and the world go through this transformation, through this evolution, through this ascension. And you volunteered to be here right now. And you might be coming to the conclusion, like I did at one point, like after I went down the rat, one of the rabbit holes that I had not gone down earlier, that it's like, um, excuse me, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> I literally said that. Like, I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up to be somebody's servant and blah, 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 because some of you might not have gone down that rabbit hole yet. I'm not going to, I don't want to, to say that yet. I just want to, to know, it's just like, I don't think I came here for, for, you know, what was awakening inside of me and what also what I was seeing in the world, all of the, 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 um, oh, what's the term? Um, you know, dishonesty, the corruption. Um, I didn't realize that a lot of our leaders aren't working for us. <laughs> They're working for themselves. And so I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, 
and then you know my guides and my my higher self and and source came and said oh yes you did sign up for this girl and um and you've got it you've got it so you're just gonna have to learn and pay attention and so that's what i've been doing for the last uh four years about evolving and and becoming more of a leader myself and um learning how to speak this this new language and communicate with you and to be more heart-centered within myself um so that i could communicate it so let's see so it's hard knowing something a lot of other people don't know how many how many of you are, are feeling that like it was really hard for me to know stuff intuitively, psychically, things I had known a long time ago, and then learn some things um, that a lot of the population who has not woken up yet um, did not know. That was really hard for me. Um, so was that hard for you? It's challenging to not want to save people, protect our families and humanity when we have this information, like the first thing I saw, and I see we go through, we go through um, different stages and everybody's in different stages. So when I'm talking to you, if you like something doesn't apply to you, that's fine. Um, ever, all of us are in different stages along this journey and all of our, uh, our journey is is different too because there's different things we're learning about it there's different ways that we can serve um and that where where we need to grow we're each unique individuals but there are some common things that uh common uh challenges and um i would say feelings that we have about about the information that we're getting as human beings um and how to be that this human body housing our soul that came here to express itself in the world that's not wanting it's not wanting that the world's uh certain people aren't wanting us to express ourselves in certain ways so so i found you know the first thing after i learned information well my intuition told me go do research so did it go go learn here listen there so um um and then and then I found, um, um, you know, then I wanted to like share the information. I wanted blah, 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 you know, tell my family, tell my friends. And then, you know, a lot of people and a lot of people thought I was um, crazy or, you know, like you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's that, you know, spiritual Marilyn and whatever, whatever terms or, or she's a conspiracy theorist or, what, whatever people wanted to think they would think. And this is um, a lot of people who are close to me, friends. And so through this process, then it was also, I had to realize it's not my job to, to save anybody because we're, we're all on a different journey through this whole time. It's my job to, <laughs> to, to um, work, work on me. Um, let's see the next. It's difficult not knowing what's true or not. So much so. Really, really hard to um, figure this out now. So uh, again, um, so I'm saying all the hard things and, and uh, that that I've experienced and then um, and then I'm gonna share with you steps and things that we can do um, to counter all of this what I have experienced, what I've been doing, what I've been sharing with others, um, and, and how you can, um, you know, uh, get through this feeling supported and connected and empowered. So, um, yeah, so that's one of the things. It's really hard knowing what's true, what's not true. What am I creating? What is somebody else creating? What, why am I seeing something? Why am I not? Uh, on social media and stuff with AI and stuff now, it is really, really hard. Um, it's hard to be in the now, in the present moment with so much drama around the world, so much things to distract us, um, 
news, social media, uh, games, uh, drugs and alcohol, uh, TV, um, you know, different, different things that are, uh, you know, this election, all the crazy stuff that's happening, the wars, all this stuff that's there to distract us and keep us, keep us off kilter. It's really hard to stay grounded and, and, um, grounded and in ourselves, in our bodies, without feeling that overwhelmed anxiety. All the stuff I read to you at the first opening, you know, the anxiety, depression, overstim being overstimulated, overwhelmed, uh, the, uh, the uncertainty, all of that stuff. It's hard. And it's hard to not tank, take on collective fears. A lot of us are empathic. A lot of us feel a lot, a lot of us, it's also hard sometimes separating out the entanglements of our feelings and fears from our relatives, from our, from our children, from our spouse, from our, um, our, uh, you know, our moms, our dads, um, and the, the collective, our friends. Um, and again, whatever is kind of the loudest thing out there, it's really hard to just, until you have tools and you do this to uh, disentangle from all of that, this energy, because everything's energy that's coming at us. So it can feel very, again, overwhelming, overstimulating. Um, the fear that it can just, you know, it, it triggers all of our emotional triggers, all of some of our traumas, but it makes us feel unsafe. Um, let's see what the next one is. It's challenging to focus on our own stuff with so much intense energies around. Yes, same thing. It's just like when we're we're feeling like what's ours and what's theirs and and how do I do this and and even the energies of the the sun, the CMEs and the solar flares and and earthquakes and volcanoes. I can feel a lot of that stuff. And it's like with that stuff coming in, how can we know what is ours and what is something else? It's lonely doing our own work and it can also feel boring and hopeless. So I want you to know sometimes when you feel bored, it's because you're not in the drama because you're addicted to drama or you're, you know, you're, you're all focused out here and you want to be a, um, entertained and you get dopamine hits when you're on YouTube or you're getting likes, you want to create things. So you get dopamine hits, um, uh, about your life, the getting likes, getting loves, having people like and love you, you know, um, just different things like that. So, um, that you might go out and do that because you're, because when you're working on yourself, you do have to spend time with yourself. And if you're feeling you don't, and, and you've grown up not wanting to feel pain, not wanting to feel your feelings, feeling overwhelmed by feeling all the feelings, there's a way that you can learn to not feel all the feelings of everybody else and, um, and know that you can handle you can handle feeling your feelings and yourself without going, um, without feeling like you're gonna go crazy or it's gonna be way too much. You can do it in a way that's measured and that's honoring who you are. And it's loving yourself when you do that. And a lot of people, a lot of you think something's wrong with you and you're broken and you have all these negative beliefs about yourself. So you don't want to go there um, um, because you don't want to find out they're true. And I want to tell you that's your programming, that is your conditioning. And that's where people want you to feel disempowered so you won't work on yourself, so you won't be in your power, so you can make changes and not be bothered by that. So there is a way, there are ways to do this. Um, but I understand, I wanted to say, I can feel that, um, that you are lonely, that you do feel bored sometimes, or it feels hopeless, right? It's like, what the fuck am I doing here? What, I don't wanna deal with this. This isn't what I signed up for. And, um, and you know, it just feels like everything can be going wrong. And not 
it can feel that way, but that's not the truth. And just to share, you know, we're having breakdowns in the world so we can have breakthroughs. So we, we're having systems break down so they can be recreated so it's, there's more equality. So there's more for everybody, not just for a few. And the same thing that's happening out here is happening in here. We're having the breakdowns in order to come into the breakdowns that are the lies, the things uh, that are not true about you, that you aren't broken. Your, your programming is broken. <laughs> um, your, your conditioning uh, in, in life and the, the way that you've been, um, you've learned to visualize yourself through the medias, uh, different medias is broken. That is to disempower you. And you just have to shift it so that you will, can be empowered. It's complicated being an empath and feeling the collective unconscious and the people around us who might not believe the same thing, might not be exactly where we are um, in, in life, even though we're all living the same, we're living in the same house or the same area or we're friends, you know, everybody has different beliefs. and. I think part of it is, you know, is, um, so we have to uh, understand and learn how to be uh, empathic, not have it turned on all the time, but also be neutral, not take it on as yours. Like you can feel it out here. <laughs> you can feel it out here. You don't have to take it in and experience what it is that you're feeling as if it's yours. But that's complicated. And when there's a lot of fear going on or a lot of hatred or, you know, like during COVID um, or now, you know, during the wars and different things, there's just different. And, and during the, the politics all around the world, this is happening, not just in the U.S. So I'm talking to people all around the world here. Just, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. When you think about it, it is a lot. And a lot of people are struggling right now. And we we can feel that struggle. And we're used to helping everybody at the cost of ourselves. And we can only be great leaders and healers and creatives, innovators, um, when, when we work on ourselves first and actually doing our work on ourselves, loving ourselves, getting to know who we really are, enables others and shifts the frequency of the energy. Again, all over the world, everything is energy. It's complicated being, oh wait, I said that one. It's hard seeing the atrocities, the evil that are taking place in the world. It's really, it's, you know, I've had, a, you know, a lot of crying days, a lot of some depression, thinking about, you know, having to go through as I was processing all this stuff. I'm not a person who gets, who gets depressed. And I was, I've had quite a few days of depression when I was first going through this. I'm better now, but there are moments that I do feel the heaviness of, of what's going on and everything. And um, and it's also, uh, yeah, and, and to think, you know, how can, how can people do this? And then, but I, you'll, you'll start to get a bigger picture where you're up above it all. So you're not down in the trenches with everything that's happening. I also tend to be a sensitive that like, if I watch something, whether it's a news and a bad, something bad happening, uh, if I watch a movie that has like a tsunami or somebody's getting killed, um, or somebody's just even telling me a story about something that's um, dramatic and um, 
uh, you know, my heart is, I can just feel it now kind of thinking of some of these, some of these things. Like I, it's like, I live it. Like if I can watch uh, sports, like watching the Olympics as they're swimming, it's like I'm swimming with them, <laughs> you know, or they're diving or they jump or, or, you know, they're running and doing the hurdles or it's just like, wow, I, you know, I'm like, I'm like right there. My brain goes right there. And we have, as sensitives, we have these incredibly brilliant, um, creative minds and they can turn on a dime and you, you know, think of a bad story or somebody's telling you it and in your mind, you're living that with it and the next minute you're dead, you know, in your, in your mind, um, you know, the day where he's leaving you or she's leaving you or, you know, like the worst circumstances. And then also on the opposite end, we have the most, we can have the most creative, beautiful, bliss, blissful, happy, joyful, um, you know, images and um, creative feelings in our body. One of the things I love to do to feel joy is in my mind, because I have a, I, I can't do it in reality because I have a knee that dislocates and it just doesn't hold the muscle at a certain um, degree. So I can't, I love the feeling of like jumping on a trampoline and jumping really high and coming back down and bouncing and high. And it just feels so, I am so happy in that. And I can like go there like that and just my whole, and I'm literally jumping up and down on this trampoline and feeling in the air. And it's just blissful. My whole body just, I just get giddy um, with it. It just makes me feel so good. Um, and um, so our minds are like incredible, incredibly creative and brilliant. And, but I, so just so you know, it's like when we're, we're in all of this craziness now, this chaos, this craziness, this uncertainty, uh, which we also don't like uncertainty, but we're learning to live with it, which is a good thing because we're, that's going to, that's one of our practices to like building up our ability to observe without taking on the energy. Okay. It's challenging to remember that you are creating your world, that you are we're creating assimilation here. We we are whatever you're thinking over and over again, and you believe through that creative mind. And it's just not necessarily in an instant that it manifests out in front of you. But if you're thinking something over and over and over again, um, and you believe that that's true, whether you're conscious of it or not, that is creating your reality. That's why whatever shows up for you take good notice of because that's showing you what's going on in here and that you're creating it, whether it's fear energy inducing it or whether it's love energy um, creating it. So that's just some of the things that, that we're really experiencing. So it's like allow yourself to be compassionate towards yourself that you're experiencing a lot of shit, <laughs> you know, and, and we got to laugh at it. We have to laugh at it because otherwise it will freaking drag you down. And so, um, so that's one of the things is laugh, laugh at yourself, right? Create fun and joy and playfulness. And, um, I'll share more on this. Um, where is it? Okay. My, my next list. So now I'm going to give you things that you can do that will help you. Um, and number one, I want to say right here, number one, I have a community because one of the things is, is that helped me so much because the instant like COVID started coming on and some of the other stuff and going down the rabbit holes, I was like, I need community. I need people I can talk to about this. I, you know, you can't just, you can't, live with this by yourself and try to, it, it's too much and you're not supposed to. We're supposed to be creating together now. And that's one of the big things about community. Like a lot of people have been 
you know, on their own. A lot of you might have been, you know, hiding out by yourself. Like, I don't want to deal with these people. I just want to be with animals. And, uh, you know, I don't want to, I, nah, 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 don't want to see the world, don't want to know what's going on. Um, and, you know, having a very simple uh, private life. And the thing is that right now, the energies that are calling us is calling us together to create community, whatever kind of community, and there'll be multiple communities, but in your area, you can be part of communities that are virtual, but what's really going to be very important to you and your health and well-being and, and um, uh, will be live communities uh, too. So, um, so I have a virtual community called Finding the Love, Find the Love You're Seeking. And um, it's about finding the love for yourself, for others, um, for source, um, your connection, it's, rela it's conscious relationships. Um, and, and this is once you, everything is in relationship. So once you understand how to have conscious relationship with yourself, with others, with um, source, God, with Mother Earth, et cetera, then, then you are a real power force. You are a game changer. You are a leader. You are a role model. And um, anyway, so you can come and we can talk about all these things that I'm sharing today with you and just say like, oh my gosh, what do we do about that? How do I do? I'm like overwhelmed. You know, you can reach out in the community. I'm overwhelmed. Anybody else? Or I it used to be when I, before I knew about solar flares and stuff, or, you know, that how sensitive I was to the environment, to volcanoes and earthquakes and stuff like that. And, and the collective, um, you know, I'd be like, I had a couple people that were, you know, ahead of me and I'd be like, is that thing happening? <laughs> Cause I'd be walking around and it feel like, like the earth was moving or I'd feel like a little, uh, I, I just get different sensations for different, and they say, oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. I'd be like, okay, and I did this enough with them that they, that I was, you know, correct that something was happening. And so then I started researching it myself. So that's one of the things that you can start doing is like, start if you're interested, um, you know, I started learning about the sun and how it affects us and our electromagnetic field. And we are so influenced by this, like really influenced by it. And it also, um, I would, so I would highly recommend and a, a pro what I will do is put um, a connection in this, under this video that will, a place where you can go and start learning about it um, because, um, you know, because there are times you you might feel like you're crazy because of stuff going on, and it can affect and and it can affect you the electromagnetic field and what happens in the sun and in the cosmos and also 5G and um, EMFs and all that stuff. You can feel it in your heart. You can feel it physically. Also, the CMEs and the the changing the light energy that's coming in um, into our bodies and it's changing our DNA and it's creating more light in our bodies and we're having different experience and different awakenings in that way so that we're we're starting to remember more who we who we are so you'll you'll start to get that information too um, which will help you feel more like you you'll so if you have pains it's not you're going to be like oh my gosh this is hurting because it might jump from the shoulder to the knee to the foot like um, in one day, <laughs> um, or it might be that you have uh, headaches or blurry vision or something for a little while and then it goes away or you're totally exhausted because you have a big upload of information and you need to sleep in order to integrate all the information coming in. But we can talk about this in the community. We can share, we can say, hey, what's happening if somebody doesn't know? Or what, What? Um, you know, I'm feeling this way. Can, can, um, can you um, say a prayer for me, right? We can help support each other. And then create, um, so I'll just say the next thing is get some friends. 
and start deepening your friendship with like-minded people. People you can talk about this to, or maybe not all of it, or people who also you can talk about like what's happening in the world, but not dwelling on it all the time. People who wanna have fun. Like I started, um, so I recently just said, okay, for new update, new energy update for myself, I'm like, okay, I want, I would like to know what that, um, uh, to be out around people in community, what I was talking about. So I joined an art class, a live drawing um, nude art class. New, not that we're nude, the, the, we have a model. So I do that on one night and then I started doing a static dance at the beach and um, in, in community also. And so it, it's been fabulous and holding my energy up and also the, the um, you know, I'm, uh, when I'm drawing, I'm really in me and not thinking about other things. And the dancing is moving energy through me. Uh, I also, I exercise and uh, do every, do a lot of different uh, exercise every day in a variety of different ways that helps to move the energy through me, which is good because we wanna keep the energy moving because we don't want to, we don't wanna take on energy and then get um, stagnant. Okay, so, and when we're in this, like it's like 3D, 5D, you know, people talking about um, the ascension is this like, um, I would say the biggest difference is 3D is fear and 5D is coming from the heart. Um, so the best thing, what I was just sharing to like what actually giving you examples of what I've done, raising your frequency. So coming from fear into your heart, um, learning how to, um, calm your nervous system down so that you're in a, so that you're, um, uh, when you, you're not in fight or flight when you don't need to be, right? A lot of us are in fight or flight almost all day long, and that's burning us out. That's giving you, um, uh, you know, it's creating cortisol. It's making you unhealthy. Um, it is, uh, yeah, it's, it's just not, it's not good for you. So learning to calm yourself down um, and do things that make you feel good, helps you raise the frequency. And what did I say before was your, you know, the whatever, whatever you're experiencing is going to the energy of the all. You know, you are affecting the energy. So the, the most um, valuable thing you can do is work on you in, in a, a to increase your joy, your pleasure, your fun, um, and your, uh, your self-esteem, your confidence, your worthiness, um, and your um, being in service. Uh, so it's just feeling valuable, right? Feeling like you belong. And that's where, you know, being part of communities, different communities, putting yourself out there, meeting new people, uh, feeling free to express yourself and um, moving the energy through you. So um, if, um, you know, and sometimes when we're on that bliss fear thing, it feels like a, a roller coaster. And sometimes it's a really scary roller coaster that, that you're having, you're working really hard that day, or um, it, it feels more so I was that way in the beginning. And then now it's just, I, I have little reminders. And so how I do this, it's like, so no matter, I want to feel my feelings, right? So I don't want to resist my, whatever I'm feeling. So if I'm feeling fear, I can just be like, okay, I'm feeling fear. And I check in, is that my fear? Have I been triggered? Am I, am, is this the collective conscious that's um, showing up? Is there, you know, something else? So I'll just, I'll just feel into my body and I'll ask my higher self. And then also what I'll do is I'll ground and I'll clear the energy, anybody's energy that is not mine, go back to where you originated with ease and grace. Anybody's energy that is not mine, go back 
to where you originate it with ease and grace now. And so you might have to do that multiple times a day so that you're clearing. You can also do a, a protection uh, prayer that that seems to, um, that helps. I have one, I'll, um, I'll share that also under this video. I think I better do um, protection. Prayer and sorry, it was just like the wind sounds like it's doing something weird. Um, shoot, what else did I say I would, I would uh, get for you guys here? I'll get it. Um, so, so as going inside and discovering the brilliant being of consciousness who is multidimensional is you. You're a brilliant being of consciousness who is multidimensional. Now you might not understand that. That's fine. But you have a, so now you have a place to go and, and explore right? Who is my multidimensional self? You know, how am I multidimensional? What does that mean? Multi and I'm brilliant. What's that? You know, and I'm consciousness. So a lot of you probably know all of this already, but a lot of you don't. And there's another portion of you that, that don't know this. And, and still, even if you know what multidimensional is, like what percentage of that are you living here in your life? So uh, for a lot of us, we love to learn and grow. Like that is part of our beingness, true beingness and consciousness. Our consciousness is, is curious like a little kid. Like, what's that? How do I do that? You know, um, how do I know more? How do I get more from that? And that's like what leads us, leads us around in this world. It's like when we hit up against something that's like bad or evil or, you know, um, just feels too heavy um, and we can't handle it yet. It's like, it's like, oh no, I don't want that. I don't want to be there. And so we are evolving emotionally. We're becoming emotionally more mature. We're learning how to manage our energy and manage our minds. And that is become, and that works us into the multidimensional beingness. So there's a lot more for you to, to learn and grow. Limit your exposure to the news, um, to, to input things, inputting, and start spending more time in nature and you go inward. Rather than outward, go inward except if when you're in, in nature. Um, and then, you know, you'll, you'll start to find the balance, but when you're overwhelmed, like I first described in the, in the very beginning, if you're feeling, you know, the, the um, if you're feeling anxious, overwhelmed, overstimulated, depressed, alone, confused, um, shaken up, in pain, frustration, anger, you know, all of those burdened, not enough, et cetera, sick, emotional, betrayed, abandoned. If you're feeling those things, you, you need to spend time inside um, allowing yourself to process, process that. And you need space to do that. Um, you need some good space and time. And as you do that, the natural, brilliant, multidimensional, and the parts of you that you've shoved down because of conditioning, you d you didn't, society did, media did, you know, said not good enough, um, all these other things that um, those start to come up again. Like your sense of humor, your ability to love deeply, your playfulness, your joy, your connection to everything, your childlike um, curiosity, your ability to learn. Uh, your ability to communicate in a variety of ways. Um, let's see. Um, so I would also highly recommend that you do inner child work. Um, in fact, in my in my community um, this week, this this whole month is on social anxiety, and this coming week we're doing work on inner child work. So if you want to come and join us. 
come and join us if you miss it you know there's recordings there's recordings for for everything and um so you can just join for the month and go listen to what's available now and then quit or you can hang in there and we become part of your community and you become part of ours and um and then we get to share this stuff all the time um can like i said connect to like-minded friends and community um just know the people that don't think like you who are not sensitive um, who might not, uh, you know, depending on what it is that you believe about um, the health, the, the, the health care, education, our government, etc. Um, a lot of other people don't believe right now or seeing. So not everybody's at the same place we are. And I think that that's one of the things we need to be compassionate and conscious of is that not everybody is um where we're we're at and where we're at could be totally wrong too right so again we we've all been conditioned and programmed so that's part of it is going through and clearing the programming the conditionings the traumas that we're, we're holding on to that are limiting us and um from being who we're really here to be and I would say to most of you who are watching me and still here, you guys are leaders. You might not know it. You could be leaders in a variety of ways, whether you're a parent, a leader in your family, whether you're a leader at school, a teacher, whether you're, you are gonna join politics or um, create innovations, uh, healthcare innovations, move the change the educational system, change the, the uh, sick care system into a healthcare system whether you're going to be a, a speaker, a philosopher, a, an artist, um, a musician, playwright, you know, that you're going to inform um, inform people of, of another perspective that so they can learn from. And so you're an influencer in, in a positive way, not, um, um, so, The other thing is stop judging. <laughs> In fact, when you go into the community, the first month I did stop judging. That's probably one of the biggest things that will save you uh, and save you in the way of angst. Um, also not, um, so not so much, um, oh, chaos, drama, um, trying to figure things out, you know, it's a lot of clutter. Judging is a lot of clutter. So judging yourself, you know, it's just like, no, you, you know, starting like, no, stop, just stop the judging and watch what happens. And again, in the community, there's a whole program of, uh, you know, of, of tools and energy tools and exclamation, uh, exclamation of uh, coaching on, um, what it means to be judging yourself and judging others and when this does it clears up a lot of stuff and you start to start to pull on some of those roots of the conditioning so that um, life opens up a lot and starts to become freer so um, I feel my feelings and that can just be what what you know I don't go I don't go looking for them. Um, it's just what things that come up and then I, I'll, I'll, I'll feel it. I'll let it move through my body. I'll feel my insecurities. I'll feel my doubts, my worries, um, my fears. And then, so I'm gonna show you. So if I feel like all of a sudden I have a fear and I'll say, so no matter what I'm feeling and this fear that I'm feeling, I choose love. I choose to love me and whatever the fear is that I'm feeling. And if I have physical things, because I'm I have I've had a lot of physical, um, you know, energetic things happen that's like, what's the hell's happening? Like it used to wake me up in my sleep and I and I'd be like, Do I need to go to the doctor? Or, you know, my higher self would say, No, just relax. And then I would go, Okay, I choose love. I choose to go through this um, from my heart. When we get in our head, we start judging and we try, we start trying to figure things out and understand it. And there's a lot of stuff we can't figure out or understand that's not worth our time. And it's also not, 
putting us down, breaking us down, making us wrong, making us broken. Um, you know, that that's just, it's not the truth. And so once you start to understand what's happening and who you really are and how you can operate differently, um, that it's so much more, um, what's the word, um, richness about what's going on and um, more hope. So I listen to my body. So I like my body is feeling different things and I take care of it. I, I will go to the EE system if I, you know, my, I, it's like my higher self. I've got a good connection with my, be like EE system time, time to go to get a massage, time to go to the chiropractor, time to do stretchings, time to do my wall Pilates, you know, um, time to, to nap, to sleep, to, um, you know, go for a walk, time to go dance, um, time to meditate. You know, I listen, I listen and I, and I pay attention and that pays off wonderfully because then I'm feeling safe. I'm feeling grounded. I'm in my body. I would say that's really important for a lot of you too, to be in your body. A lot of you, because of fears, because of how we were programmed and traumatized and stuff, and that our, our, our empathy that we let we, as children, we learn to come out of our body a bit, not be embodied because then we wouldn't necessarily feel everybody, feel everything all at once because we didn't know what to do. Our parents didn't train us how, how to manage our mind and manage our energy and uh, you know what it what meant to be psychic and um, multi-dimensional and you know so so they don't they didn't know it's not their fault and it's not your fault but now you can learn now you can learn how to manage all of this and not have it take you down um, I listen to my intuition my higher self and um, my psychic abilities and again so um, I just learned pay attention and I've been building those those connections you know since I was a little girl and um, um, and you can have guidance every single moment you can ask for help and guidance every single moment and you will be guided so um, you just have to learn to listen and be patient and get out of your mind and feel <laughs> and then it you know, things can, you can't be thinking what you think this, they would be saying or what you want them to say. Um, I follow what excites me. Like I was talking about, like, um, like I, I, um, I joined, um, last October, I joined a year long or I'm an, I'm an artist, but I haven't been doing a lot of artwork because, um, my business is creative, you know, that I, I, took the last five years to build a house. And actually it started before that at 10 years, um, you know, clearing the land and stuff like that. So I've been creative in a lot of different ways, gardening. Um, and so, but I, the art is, is had my intuition says, okay, go start, let's start the artwork again. And I've gone from impressionistic to wanting to do um, abstract. And so I joined this program where I am, it's like a year long, but you can go at your own pace and <clears throat> you uh, go and learn the things you didn't learn in art school. And um, so I'm taking that, it was like an immediate yes. So I listened for those, those things that are like, yes, follow those, follow those. Yes. If there's not, if it's not a yes, then don't follow it right then. Just wait. Then it's either like a no, or it's like a maybe, but you're not ready. Um, and so I've been taking that course. And so, and again, it excited me. It felt, it felt, it felt like it was feeding me. It will feed me. And even though it's hard, there's aspects to it that's really hard, or I'm having to do paintings that I'm not really excited about doing. Um, 
but but I've learned, I learn, and I learn about myself, and I go through things. It, you know, it's us learning how to go through things, how to be with what is, and I get to see all the stories I'm making up about, like, I don't like that, <laughs> and why I don't like that, and why am I thinking I made up a story, it's gonna be hard, when it didn't turn out to be hard, that was actually fun for me, right? So there's all the, that's what I mean, is life is perfect, it's showing you things that you can and learn from that are important for you to learn. Um, I take away what doesn't make that which doesn't work anymore. So it's just like remove those friends, clutter, things that don't make you happy, things that have bad energy, um, habits you know, um, might be eating, has to do with your health, like looking at your health, what isn't working with your health anymore? What relationships aren't working with your health anymore? <laughs> what, um, you know, what uh, what's toxic in your life? Looking at your finances, it's just like, you know, are they, are, do you have a good, uh, or, or do you have a, a limited view of, of what is possible for you. It's like, let's get rid of that so you can become abundant. So it's yet yeah, removing, removing those old programs, those removing the trauma energy that's stuck in your body, um, removing any of those things that are limiting you. And of course, this will take a lifetime. You're not gonna do all of this overnight right? And um, it, some take longer and others can be like that. So it depends on what you're believing about it and how deep that belief is. And then uh, what also what you're conscious of, because a lot of, I've had coaches my whole life or mentors my whole life that are coaches that, um, um, that because there's a lot of times things you can't see yourself. You can't see it because you think it's you and it doesn't even have like a name to you. It's just, you're, you're just that. And, um, but, but a coach like myself, we can see where those deeply rooted um, beliefs are, vows that you made as a very young kid that is keeping you locked into place keeping you in this habit or keeping you in addictions or keeping you in, um, you know, the, the um, thought um, and feeling of you are less than and keeping you overwhelmed, keeping you disempowered. And so we want to empower you. We want to get rid of those and shift your energy, raise your frequency. So then you're helping all of humanity in this world. Um, and, and you're enjoying life then. And that's another thing a lot of us, I would say, that's why I forgot to put on there, is that a lot of times we don't want, it. like when I was building this house, it was really hard for me to think I'm building a house while there were fires burning here and so many people were losing their homes. And there was also this, it was at the same time that there was a big hurricane in, um, in Florida, I think it was. Um, that, you know, so people were losing all this stuff and it was like, that's one of, one of my limiting beliefs. How can I have anything more than what everybody has, right? Uh, and so, um, and then, but I had to learn, no, the more I can have, the more that people see that I have, that I can create, that I can manifest, that that is a reflection to them that you can do this too. And it has nothing to do with, we're not taking away anything from anybody else. We're actually reflecting back to them, the worth and value and the, you know, it's like, what's, what, you know, it, it, it isn't to have a certain house. It was the, the journey of building this house, the build, the, the journey of creating something from nothing was fabulous. And, um, and, and that's what we're doing with everything that we're creating something from nothing through our, um, abilities, through our multidimensional, um, energetic, uh, feelings and our beliefs about our ability to create that. And we all have different things that we want. 
and different ways that we want them. So you have to be the, the individual, right? And respect other people's individual desires, as long as they're not hurting anybody, to create what it is that they want. This is how we, and then we come together and go, oh, you did that, I did this, what if we put those together? What does that create? Okay. Let's see. I choose love over fear, talked about that. I'm not attached to my ideas or choices. I'm in the now, I'm not attached. I'm not attached to them happening. Like I'm not hanging on for dear life that this has to happen or what. Because I've seen over the last four years and other lifetime that a lot of times we don't think big enough and God or source has a much bigger idea for us than we do. So I will kind of say, like I couldn't have imagined when we we're building this house that we're building this house. <laughs> you know, it was like one step at a time. It was the design, the laying out the architecture and stuff. And still, it, you know, it's, it wasn't like real until like, yeah, it still sometimes doesn't feel feel real, but it was like, hey, we did a pretty good job. But it was, it was piecemeal. Putting, putting it together, putting, deciding on this, put, deciding on that, going out and looking at different things. But that's also my life and that's your life, piecemeal. It's like, oh, I want this, oh, I want that. I find as a coach that most people don't think big enough. They're just like, what, what can I have that isn't taking a look? Or what does my limited self say? When you have a big, big soul that wants to express itself and create something powerful in the world, but um, it, you're scared to death to, to do it because you either feel like you'll be taken down for it or you'll be judged for it or it won't be good enough, it won't be perfect, um, or that you know success will ruin your life, you'll become so successful and powerful that you won't like who you are or other people won't like who you are. There's all different reasons, but anyway, just to share that. So I'm not attached to how um, I, I can turn on a dime. It's just like, oh, okay, that doesn't work. What about this? Um, be here in the now, be present in this now time, um, because that's where the information's coming in. That's where I can feel what's going on. I can feel in like, oh, no, you know what? I need to take a break. I need to eat. Um, I need to go play. Um, you know, it would, uh, serve me to meditate or, um, um, you know, I, I want to write or create a video. Talk to others about what you're experiencing, people who you can trust. I tell you, it was a saving grace to create this group that I had. Uh, and now I'm creating other groups and finding more people. But, uh, you know, most people um, at the beginning of COVID, um, those of us who didn't feel what was happening was right. Um, we didn't have, we didn't have people to talk to. I had to kind of go and search and like little code talk to see if somebody was on the same page. And then actually there was a group of us that got together and we'd all kind of research what we were interested in, come back and bring our research. You know, what did we find out? Who was saying what, what did you notice? Um, um, and shared that information and just to just to like a teapot letting off steam you know it was just like to have a place like i'm seeing i'm not crazy there's you know pe that people understand this um you know and 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 now you know there's i know who i can talk to about that that that, that the amount of people i can talk to has grown and I, like i said a lot of people were very thankful that i went in search for other people because they didn't have anybody else to talk to. So, and I also did this, so I had a live group here, and then I also had people on the phone that I could talk to in various places. And so we would talk to each other, and that would help to mo keep the energy moving and also help to calm us down if we were going into fear. So we were learning, uh, you know, along the way how to deal with these practices, how to how to be how to be and not take on the energy of people around us who didn't 
understand that might have been calling us a terrorist, even though they knew us much better than knew we were not. You know, it was just this unconscious energy around us and, and, and us feeling like so conscious. Um, but, you know, it was crazy. It's crazy and it's still crazy and it's still going to get crazier. So that's, again, community is important. So bring you at your highest frequency, being you at your highest frequency is going to help, it is serving, is serving the world, is serving humanity, being you at its highest frequency. And that doesn't matter, wherever you're at, just be you, that's fine. And then as you do your work when needed, as things come up, <clears throat> your frequency will, will raise, your heart will keep breaking open <clears throat> um, or blossoming, I shouldn't say breaking, but, you know, expanding, being able to hold more love, more light. You'll, be, you'll have more control over all of that to bring more harmony into your life, to see others with compassion and appreciation for all that we're going through, to have more gratitude, to feel more of that unconditional love. So what can you do? Be you. Be you. Do what honors you. Receive the love. Receive the light. Love yourself no matter what. Feel your feelings and all those other things that I was sharing. And just know Yes, it's hard. It's challenging. <laughs> We're ping-ponging back and forth. That feels like a roller coaster ride. Sometimes a really dangerous one, rickety on the on the wooden ones, and um, you know, super fast. And then other times it just feels like it's just a ride, and we can ride it. And we can ride the waves. Um, so, and that there are other people. You are not alone. Um, again, come join me. The link will be down below if you feel like it. Um, if you have more questions or interest, um, I have a lot of stuff on YouTube um, that you can go explore. And um, until we meet again, love, live, and matter. Take care. Bye.